Hi, I'm Gary Jenkins, and I thought I'd take a, a minute here to show you uh, another painting that I'm doing. It's a white egret. You can see him peeking out from behind back there. <laughs> so in a little bit, I'll take the camera and we'll we'll take a, a peek at what the painting looks like and and uh, how the white egret works against all this beautiful abstract work. I went on uh, my uh, computer and I googled white egret uh, to see the history of the bird and I'm going to read to you what I found on there and this is what it said it, uh, several Native American tribes look at the white egret as signs of patience peace tranquility good luck and serenity <laughs> No wonder I love to paint egrets. Boy, I tell you, I love to paint the egret because of the, you can see him back there. The uh, how the white works against the the beautiful abstract background back there. So I hope you guys enjoy looking at my latest work. Um, if you're ever here in Sedona, Arizona, on the end of this video, I'll put the gallery that uh, is showing all my work uh, where you can take a peek at it. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the white egret. The white egret is painted on a uh, gallery wrap canvas. And let's take a peek at a close up there. You can see how well he works against the beautiful background that we have here. Now I take a lot of the color from the background and I repeat it up into the white egret, especially right in here. Yeah, look at that. Look at all the blues, complementing orange uh, color. I want to come around here and show you. Oh, there's some uh, orbs. You know, I like to put orbs in everything that I do. And look at the color and the texture. Of course, you know, I'd like to put the copper leaf all along. It also goes down the sides. It's a gallery wrap, so the sides go back about a, an inch and a quarter, and that's all copper leaf. And these are being shown at the Row Gallery here in Sedona, Arizona. Yeah. Now let's go back up. Oh. There's his feathers close up of him. Face. That would be a nice painting right there on a smaller canvas, maybe. Boy. Oh, I want to come in and show you this. It's very spiritual, and I put a circle around that just to add a little spirituality to it. To the, the work, little drippies coming down. This one has a, a little bit of everything, a lot of uh, the neutral, white. You guys should give this a try. Whether you paint birds or even a landscape would work on here. I could see it in there. Most anything will work. And as I mentioned before, maybe next year I will have a a class or two on how to do these backgrounds there. It, it takes a little effort. It's not just throwing uh, paint up there. You have to know how to do the movement, the right colors to use, the right amount of negative space. And if you get that beautiful balance, then you, you'll have a beautiful work of art. Well, there you are. <laughs> I'll put as the paintings come along and I do other things, other paintings, I'll uh, put them up here and you guys can take a peek. Again, I'll, I'll put where you can view the originals at the gallery here in Sedona, Arizona. Okay, thanks for watching out there guys and take care and stay well. Bye-bye.